When introducing functions, there's one specific thing that you need to keep in mind. And that is, for any given value of x, there will only ever be one output for y for each input x. So if you were to say that there was a function box, it's called f of x. If you were to put in three, five, and three, you would get two, six, and two. Notice that the two values you put in for x gave you the exact same value for y. But when you put an alternate value in for x, you got a different value for y. If it's a function, we often write something called f of x, which is red f of x. A graph is a function if it passes the vertical line test. Or each x has at the very most one y. A vertical line test means that we take a vertical line and we run it along the x-axis. If the graph is only touched at any given point in one place, then that means it is a function. But if we look at example two, we see that if we do the same thing, Try that again. If we try the vertical line test on this particular graph, we see that in several different points, the vertical line will cross the graph in more than one place. If we look back at our definitions, of a, what a graph is. A graph is a function if it passes the vertical line test or each x has at most one y. Over here, there was only one y at any given point on here for x. But on this graph, we see that there were three different points the vertical line touched at any given point. So, we can say that this graph is a function. And we can say this graph is not a function.